everyone, this is Matt from DrawingTutorialsOnline.com. We have another really cool sketchbook with a brand new student and her name is Julia. And Julia is from where, Julia? Portugal. Portugal. Very, 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 very awesome. Viva. Say that? Viva Portugal. Nice, nice. All right. You guys, listen up. Julia has an amazing uh, sketchbook. Uh, go ahead, open it up, Julia. I mean, Julia is... I don't even want to tell you how, of course, we have a beautiful photos <laughs> on the front page. But. <laughs> um, Julia is just so multi-talented, it's not even funny. Uh, I just mean, like tic -tac -toe. <laughs> yes, she is so good at tic-tac-toe. She so is good. so good at tic-tac-toe. Uh, it's not even funny. But uh, Julia... Uh, came here to SVA and tell us a little bit about what you wanted to do. So I came to SVA thinking that like to be a stop-motion animator kind of pursue character design but things have changed where that kind of like stop-motion is dying a little bit and really it's only in Portland so now I'm focusing more on character design and kind of putting my own brand out there um, but also just focusing more on illustrations and stuff and character building Okay. Now, you guys, uh, Julia is working on a couple of different sites, but you can find her Tumblr right underneath this video, okay? Um, so if you're asking for it, just go to the information and it's right there. So what I, what I really like, I, I mean, you got us, do you have your life drawing pad here too? Uh, yes. Okay, we it's might want to look at some, some of those. I mean, what I really love about Julia is, again, she's another artist who is multi-talented, does sculpture, does animation, uh, can draw the figure uh, with the best of them. And I love that she takes chances in her sketchbook and, and she's using all this different color and all these different mediums. I mean, look at that. That's really pretty and... and... This was a character Vlad I made years ago and I just kind of revived him. Hmm. Yeah, there's more. That was like his inner being. Studying that. <laughs> wow. So you guys can see they're already, and we're not even like halfway through the sketchbook. There's there's a lot of uniqueness going on. Now you would say that most of the drawings in your sketchbook are done out of your imagination. Yeah, most of them. Okay. I can. I don't think I have. I know in my other sketchbook I have some life drawings. Mm -hmm. These are just storyboards and stuff, so they're like really simple. But um. Yeah, this goes on for a while, and then I didn't know what to do. Um, but yeah, I do mostly just like character design in my sketchbooks and just kind of whatever's in my head I lay on the page. That's incredible right there. Yeah, I, I like going from life for a lot of things. Like this was actually someone I knew. Mm. So a lot of things like I take from life, and that's like a character of myself, which is actually my Tumblr icon. Yes, Julia, at one point in the semester, did have hair. blue hair. And it was beautiful. And then it died. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to shave it. This is more like I was trying to go abstract. Hmm. Yeah, this is like another abstract page of me. Hold on, hold on. But this was more of a me drunk at a party. And I was oh. like, yeah, I'm going to draw. <laughs> Everyone should have one of those drawings in their sketchbook. It was a New Year's party, so I was like, New Year, new me. Wow. Wow. I wish I saved some of that stuff when I was younger. God. But probably most of the drawings in my sketchbook were so bad, they probably looked like I was drunk all the time. This was me fancy drunk listening to Tom Waits. So that nice. was a fancy drunk. Because that's a bottle of wine right there. Whoa. Yeah. And then this is, I like to go to the library a lot and just kind of study. Like, these are from life. These are pictures of, like, frogs from books. So I do take things a lot from life. Hmm. That's beautiful. Just like these hand studies and all that. These legs over here. This actually I looked at another illustrator for. But this was an original character. Excellent. I love that. I like the shape and the line. Yeah. And there's a lot of movement. He's supposed to be like an old man moon. Like, hmm. Kind of shape. I like to shape my figures with like kind of like like put it in your face, kind of like put the shape of like who they are in their head. Hmm. So yeah, it's interesting. So I was just studying letters and stuff. Wow. 
So, like, something like this, you just start it, like, when do you do something like this? Um, I just kind of start it and just go, like, it's, this one I actually got from a book, too, but I, I made this creature myself, like, this is, like, part of, like, a snake, part of, like, different, I like, m like, mushing animals together, mm -hmm. and, like, kind of, like, humanoid things to put, like, kind of, like, the demons in yourself, so, mm -hmm. but, like, most, like, these I referenced, but I, like, put them all together by myself. Nice job. Thank you. This was another one from books too at the library. These are um, 1920s shoes that I love. <laughs> wow, they look so modern. Yeah, I love 20s stuff. So this is like all 20s models and drawings and stuff. And this is more of my character design, kind of just going off like an inanimate object and making it into like a thing, like mm -hmm. a breathing living thing. Wow. So yeah. Cactus girl. And so you're using like a marker and pencil and pen or? Mm -hmm. I use markers, colored pencils, um, pens, graphite, really anything I can get my hands on. I just mush together. But I like doing a lot of profiles. And another character of me is coming up with my cat, which I dearly miss. Oh wow, <laughs> look at the blue. The blue is awesome. When I have my hair. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I like doing caricatures because my dad used to do that, so like yeah. I carried on. Are you going back home? Uh, Port, um, I'm not. My dad lives in Portugal, so I only see him like every two years. But I'm I'm actually staying here for the summer. Okay. To try and work on my brand. Now, so. do you have pictures of your sculpture, the ones that you showed me on your Tumblr? Yeah, definitely. I have more on my Tumblr too. Like I have like dolls I've made. This was me trying to make it all, like working the inside, me making a raven, like this is like the skeleton. I made cardboard to like, so they could move. So yeah, this is like me trying to do stop motion. <laughs> and another character design of like a 1920s um, dancer. Beautiful job. I forget her name, but she's real. <laughs> real historical figure. And this was my friend that I drew. That's from life. <laughs> That's from photo. Interesting how like it goes much softer. Mm. Interesting. Really, you can do a lot of different things. I love drawing with shadow and like value. That's really what I do. Yeah, yeah. But I like drawing from life a lot. Oh, and this was just like a random, but kind of cheesy. <laughs> it's all good. I mean, beautiful line, beautiful texture. And this is another character design of like, I want the zombie to have, like, because zomb zombies don't really have, like, personality. They, like, only are, like, dead and whatever and, like, eating people. So I wanted to make, pers like, a zombie carrying his burdens. And the zombie carrying his burdens is actually, like, a huge zombie elephant. Hmm. Yeah. You and tell good stories, too. <laughs> that you, Thank do you. Do you write this stuff with your artwork? Yeah, like, I, I put it, um, actually, the next picture. Uh, next one, maybe. I, cause I, I did a really good drawing of both of them. That was me figuring out costs of puppets, and this is me figuring out movements. But yeah, I'd come up with these stories, and I try to put them through um, just like figures, I like working with emotion in the face a lot, and like kind of like with the body. That was a girl dropping a cake. Um, this was me character designing for my friend too, cause he was writing a book. Um, so this, it was um, it was supposed to be like a vapor based kind of character, so I had put like a lot of like different shapes into each of them. Like this was more like a glitch. This was more um, kind of like universal, like what you picture in like a vapor thing with smoke. This one has brains in it. Hmm. But yeah, this is just some character designs, and this is the elephant in the zombie holding his own burdens. Wow, that's pretty. That's pretty sick. That it's all coming out of your brain. Mm -hmm. You're gonna like next week when we go draw those elephants at I'm the so Museum excited. of Natural History. I love elephants. Yeah, they're huge there. I love elephants and giraffes. This was me playing with watercolor, trying to figure it out. Okay. Listening to the doors. Strange days. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. This is me playing with paint again, <laughs> trying to figure it out. Now, how long did it take you to to do this whole sketchbook? Um, I finished it two weeks ago. And did you start it at the beginning of the semester? Yeah, I started it like right when we came back. 
And I did maybe like a couple page during winter break. Mm -hmm. This is another character design I did for my storyboarding class. This is a mom and she's like a smoker. Just like really bad mom. <laughs> oh my God, seriously, look at that. That's incredible. This is Dancing Elephant for also my storyboarding. But I have a huge story with that. Such diverse shapes and everything, my god. I love like, um, I tried oh. putting more into this one, kind of like a Toulouse Trek feel. I Was that it. that model that we had? Yeah. Oh yeah, oh my god, seriously? <laughs> yep. That's incredible. She she was she was really she was inspiring. Awesome. She I loved her hair. Yeah. She's just like you're amazing. <laughs> I wish I could have had her back more. I don't know. She yeah. just kind of disappeared. Like this was I was trying to get her hair in here, but wow. it was too light, and I liked it like that. But me taking notes mm -hmm. again. And this is me taking notes again. This was um for my stop motion. This is all like because I had to build cakes and like build sets. So this was me trying to figure out like what cakes I'm gonna make, which one would look good on the scene. And yeah, this is, that one's from life too, from a picture. And this was me again building scenes and stuff. Okay. It took a while. I built this whole table. Okay, so we're at like t almost, tw oh my God, that's one of my favorite <laughs> ones. We're at almost 12 minutes. So we're gonna just go a little bit faster because I, I want, oh, <laughs> you got, I told you guys, this sketchbook is killer. Like, I don't want to divide the video up into two different videos. I, I want to keep it to one video. So we'll, we'll try to maybe. Let's like skip through all the notes. Please. Yeah. Uh, it's just, it's, yeah, it's really tiny. good stuff. I mean, th this is what I would call an eclectic sketchbook. Because like you can turn on all different like parts of your brain, mm -hmm. storytelling <laughs> brain, character design brain, rendering brain, mm -hmm. loosey goosey line brain. Character development again. Wow. Storyboarding. This was still like with like the mom, the smoker mom, I'm trying to get rid of her kid. Um, more facial studies. Like how long I can stretch the face for. And this is just me trying to figure out a bird flying. Bird flying again. Because I, I was going to animate a crow flying. And in the end it didn't really work out. So I, had to, I actually changed my whole final film. So this wasn't like me studying mouths and stuff. You guys, you see how some of these pages are just like, there's like little gems on each page. <laughs> me and my boyfriend. Really? Yeah, you're getting some mad texts. Damn. <laughs> and this is like me studying mouths again. And Whoa. this is, I was studying hair, like how hair like does emotion, like, portrays emotion. Sharp hair, evil people. <laughs> but this was me in animation class again, expressions. When do you primarily draw in class? Um, really never. This is all kind of when I'm home, so. Well, that's what I, I, yeah, I, I asked that question the wrong way. Like, I'm sitting here just admiring your schedule and <laughs> I'm like daydreaming. Um, so you draw primarily at home and yep. how, how long do you think you draw like each day in your schedule? Of course, every day, some days different where you don't even touch some it. Some days is different. Like, I have to feel really inspired, but like, I could do like three pages a day. Okay. Yeah. Like, this was like new boyfriend inspiration kind of thing like oh new love in my life <laughs> <laughs> and then this was i was reflecting back on my old teachers and stuff oh god i hope like. you don't draw me that way <laughs> no she was crazy she wore wigs every day she wow. actually didn't get my name that's right. like one of my favorite pages i never even saw that page that was really incredible as this is me and my boyfriend again the inspiration <laughs> but yeah, and this is when we got into Adventure Time. So a lot of things like I more life stuff affects me when I draw. Mm -hmm. Like I take things from life mostly. Yeah. And I love like drawing with shadows. It's one of my favorite yeah. things. And I love like doing like realistic hands and everything. Like that's like I really love like re realism and like cuz I I don't know. I feel like it conveys like a lot of things. But. 
Now, as you're as you're flipping through, tell us a little bit about your jewelry. What you're trying to do? Oh, so I'm trying to build a brand, Barn Burner Collective, and I'm selling rings on Etsy, and they're all made out of Sculpey that I have like made these like skull rings. I have a medieval collection. I'm gonna do Before a nature based collection, and. Um, I'm also, I'm just doing a, a bunch of different collections right now, like I have like a 1920s rings um, kind of forming also, but right now it's primarily like medi medieval with like skulls, dragons, um, but they're all rings that I make, um, all handmade, custom orders, like you tell me the size and I'll do it for you, and they're really more like, they're, they're very sculptural, like yeah. each one is like very detailed, and I put gold on them, they're very nice. But they're very durable too. I noticed that. I went to work. I was like testing the durability, and I, I like threw it on our stone ground, and I stomped on it, and it was fine. And I was very wow. impressed. I coat them with a nail. That's why. But so they're they're pretty uh, sturdy. Okay. Cool. So you'll well you'll have a link to that on your Tumblr. Yeah, I definitely um, am gonna post that because I'm working on right now just building up the like our logo. Cause it's it's me and my boyfriend that do it. Cause he he does like all the dirty work of like spraying up the enamel, making sure they're like fine, perfect. Okay. And I do like I, I build them and I sculpt them a lot. So, yeah. Really cool stuff. So we'll skip those notes. Yeah. This is me in the cafe listening to people. <laughs> And every page is just so different. It's yeah. crazy. These are, this is everyone in a cafe. And I love going to cafes and drawing too. Like that's really like that helps me a lot with my caricatures and everything. This is notes from class. Character design again. I really love like putting like a macabre twist on characters too. Mm -hmm. So, my I really like am inspired by like Tim Burton and Gris Grimley in a way. So, I see some of that inspiration, no doubt about it. This is a tattoo design I did for someone. This is what my guilt looks like. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boyfriend sleeping. <laughs> wow. I'm super stalkerish, but yeah. Excellent job, excellent job. I love cross hatching too. Yeah, it's pretty, really pretty. This is more character design, kind of playing with like a cutesy look. Because I go way too macabre sometimes, and I dream of Bloody Marys. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, ever since you said that this morning, I'm like, gosh. I, it's so hard, I've been craving one for two months. Alright, so can you show... Um, a couple of drawings in your uh, big pad. Can you just show like the hands page? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, hold on, you guys. Hold on. All right. So this is some of Julia's life drawing from the model. Um, just a hand day. I know, I know, we all hate Julia right now. Um, so you guys gotta understand that this is uh, early in, in Julia's art career here, and uh, she's she's doing pretty good, she's doing pretty good. I don't want you to screw up the, the paper. Um, let's see if I like the next page. Oh, this is my portrait. This guy was yeah, scared. when I tell you this is the way that these people looked, and this is the way that these people look. Like that guy looks like that guy right there. <laughs> and his eyes, like you got his light eyes. That's pretty hard to do. Wow, nice, nice. Do you have any? Oh wow, look at that figure drawing. I mean, are you kidding me? I'm. It's not polite for me to hold on. Don't don't. It's not polite for me to ask you how old you are, but I know that you're very young. And yep. these drawings are really good, 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 good drawings. I would have died to have drawn like this when I was your age. Uh, I mean, I'm really happy for you. Like, you got a lot of talent, and you work hard too. But I, I gotta say, like, these are killer. I started like, drawing when I was very young. Like, my dad, like, because he saw me just like generically drawing, and he was like, "No, you need to 
draw like he's the one that coached me when I was little he, like he was like no you need to draw from life like you aren't drawing from life stop drawing from your imagination yeah so that like he used to take me to draw all these trees and everything okay so he was like no like look like don't even look at your page look at the tree so like he was he was my teacher really all right we just went over 20 so julia <laughs> thank you so much for sharing and uh, keep up the good work and you guys thanks so much for i hope you enjoyed that i know i did my arms are killing me we'll see you soon all right, thanks once again for watching Julia's sketchbook. She's an amazing student. That video was filmed about two months ago. It was uh, the second to last week of class back in May. Well, I just want to share with you, we have a couple of brand new products that are completely separate from a membership to drawingtutorialsonline.com. We have a brand new figure drawing, a layered approach. If you guys remember, I filmed that back in 2007 while I completely redid all those videos. And if you're looking to... Uh, get much better at drawing the figure. This is kind of my core teaching and it's the, it's everything that I teach the students uh, like Julia, that specific class that she's in uh, from week one to week seven. It, it, it's just, if you wanna get really good at drawing the figure, that course is for you. It's, it's a one-time fee to buy that course and then you have access to the videos pretty much forever. And then the, the Masterclass series is about image making. And in that particular series, we analyze three different artists and we break down their images. Each video is about an hour long uh, and each video comes with a PDF. And, and the Figure Drawing A Layered Approach course also comes with a PDF. Both of these videos are housed on, on a whole different website. If you're interested uh come on over to drawingtutorialsonline.com and just click on shop and it's right there all right thanks so much for watching i really appreciate it and we'll be talking to you soon be good